like, what will it take for the people in Mario's universe to take Bowser seriously? Um, anyway, here it is, Super Mario World- <laughs> Okay. Oh Should I edit that out? Can I edit that out? Oh my god. Alright, off to a great start. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play A Thousand and One Games! I'm your host, Gaming J, and welcome to one of the best video games of all time. This is 100% a game that you must play before you die. I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're from, if you've never played Mario World, you need to pause this video and go do it yourself. Um, but if you have played it, strap in for a nostalgia trip, because we are going through the entire game. I don't know necessarily, I don't think we're going to play every single level, because this game is massive. But uh, my plan is to go through the whole game. So we are gonna do it. Let's beat Super Mario World, one of my all-time favorite Super Nintendo games, and again, uh, one of the best video games of all time. And uh, before we really hop in here, let me just also point out that today is the first episode in our seventh year of the quest to try all the games in the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. It is a momentous occasion. It is huge. It is a big day for us. Let's hop into the game and we can talk more about everything together. But Super Mario World here. Welcome, this is Dino Land. In the strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Typical. Looks like Bowser is at it again. Um, you get the sense that Bowser doesn't respect boundaries, but also that the folks in Nintendo Land are a little too lenient on the guy. I mean, he's literally abducting women repeatedly. He's a repeat offender. Can we slam this guy's butt into jail yet or what? Like, what will it take for the people in Mario's universe to take Bowser seriously? Um, anyway, here it is, Super Mario World- <laughs> Okay. Should I edit that out? Can I edit that out? Oh my god. All right, off to a great start. Um, Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. This is the first Mario game on the Super Nintendo, obviously. Um, this is basically Super Mario Brothers 4. You know, Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3 came out for the NES. And when the Super Nintendo uh, was coming out, um, this, oh my god, this was the flagship Mario game that uh, was set to arrive. And, uh, I remember the first time I ever played this game, the first time I ever saw it, it blew my mind with how advanced it looked. Like, it is just... Go back and play Super Mario Bros. 3, and then come back and play this, and just, you'll see how much of a leap forward this was. It was enormous, guys. I... I personally played Super Mario Bros. Super Mario World here. Um, the first time my dad rented this from a video store, he rented a Super Nintendo and this game. And I remember we spent the whole weekend doing nothing, nothing but playing Super Mario uh, World here. Because it is, it, there's so much to explore. It is a, truly a whole world to explore. Um, fun fact about this game, when they were actually developing... Uh, you know, this game, they knew it was going to be for the Super Nintendo, and one of the first things the R&D team did, because, you know, this, this, the Super Nintendo was such a leap forward in technology compared to the NES, that the development team knew that they would be able to create a more advanced game, but the first thing they actually did is they ported Super Mario Bros. 3 to the Super Nintendo to see how that would look and play. And what they quickly found is that it just, it didn't seem as... You know, it, it didn't stand out as much. And they realized that they needed to make um, a whole new, more advanced game. So, um, I, I, I find that story kind of interesting. Um, and I wonder, actually, if the port of Mario 3 that they made is the port that we'd ultimately get in Mario All-Stars, which was a remake of Mario 1, 2, and 3 for the Super Nintendo. I don't know if it is or not, but I'm just curious. I, I wonder if that port has ever been released. Um... But, uh, so I guess I'm not talking about the game, but this is a Switch Palace. As you can see, it turns all the dotted uh, outlines into actual blocks, so, um, the, you'll find Switch Palaces throughout the world, and they, they make the game a little easier and sneak power-ups into levels and stuff, but, um, 
But yeah, I, I respect the idea that like Nintendo was like, okay, let's see what a Mario game is going to look like on the Super Nintendo. And they sort of experimented and tried some things. They didn't just go with like the first idea. Crap, that could have been a one-up. Uh, if I didn't have the stupid fire flower, it's interfering with my ability to kill turtles. Uh, if you throw that turtle shell, you knock all these guys and you get a one-up. Um, but I can't do it now. Um, I think this is the first level where we see Yoshi. I think he's right in here. Yeah, he is. Man, what an addition Yoshi was. Um, another fun fact, another sort of fun development tale of uh, Nintendo and, and Mario World here is that uh, uh, Yoshi was actually conceived of back when they made Mario Brothers 1 on the, the NES. Miyamoto wanted, uh, wanted Mario to be riding something, and he had this idea for, like, a dinosaur. Um, but the NES, it, uh, it wasn't capable of, of doing all that at the time. They might have been able to swing it in Mario 3 because they were using, like, uh, you know, more advanced chips in the cartridges at that point. That's why Mario 3 looks so much more advanced than the first Mario, uh, like Mario 1 on the NES. But, um, I guess maybe they couldn't or they didn't. Um, and so he held on to that idea until the era of the Super Nintendo, and then Yoshi became a reality. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of, kind of interesting that, you know, like, for a long time, Miyamoto, like, wanted to, uh, wanted to basically add a Yoshi, so... He holds on to good ideas, I guess, that one. Um... But yeah, anyway, Mario, Mario World's here, you know... Development tales and intro and stuff aside, we'll talk a lot more about the world as we obviously keep playing. But these intro levels are just kind of to whet our appetite to get us going here. Every world in Mario World here is arranged... Uh, I, guess it's, I guess they're arranged in islands. So every island has a number of levels and then a castle. Anyone who's played a Mario game in the last 20 or 30 years should be familiar with that format. Because this game basically set the stage for all the Mario games to come. I mean, actually, maybe it's more Mario 3. This is really an evolution of Mario 3 than it is, you know, completely unique. Uh, but, you know, whatever. It is It is what it is. It's uh, Mario 3 and Mario World together form the template of basically every Mario mechanic you'd see in the next, like, 30 years. Um, even to the point where, like, Nintendo literally can't escape the genesis of this game like this this game and the mario games that came before it were so iconic so good like look at super mario maker it doesn't i mean it has the new super mario brothers wii mechanics in it but other than that it's pretty much just mario one two three and mario world here so it's like even to this day remixes of this game still hold up that is damn impressive i would say imagine like that's that's like creating, uh, like, a Mozart-level song. You know, to design a video game that people are still going to be playing in 40 years. Th that's nuts when you think about it. Uh, that's crazy, actually. But Mario did it. Mario did it. Anyway, this first island here is, like, so easy. I mean, like, it's showing off interesting mechanics and stuff, but, like, I always kind of thought of this first island as almost like the baby island. Like, for, it, it feels very small, there's only a couple of worlds, they're all pretty basic, you know, you just kind of, like, run through them, like, there isn't... And there's not... Oh, God. I guess I should have hit that P, but whatever. Um, there's not too much sort of uh, difficulty or challenge here. Not that that's a bad thing, because you do want an introductory island. Uh, but yeah, I mean... Uh, Interesting how they have, like, a whole sort of mix of mechanics in this first world. I've never really paid attention. Um, but they're sort of like water... They're introducing you to water, and they're introducing you to, like, the, the exclamation point blocks. We got introduced to Yoshi. There was the football dude we saw. There was all sorts of stuff. Now, Yoshi is too cowardly to enter castles or ghost houses, so he just hangs out outside. Mario deals with this stuff on his own. Oh yeah, and the fences. I remember seeing the fences like in commercials uh, from Mario World and just thinking like how cool they looked. Um, so here's a little uh, fun trick. As long as you're on the fence, it... Ah, oh, crap. It counts as you being in the air. I messed it up. Let's see, I can get one turtle, I get 200. If I get another one, I get 400. You can keep going, and you can get a ton of extra lives as long as you hang out on the fences. But I 
kind of messed it up. <laughs> it's funny because I just, in my mind, I feel like I'm definitely not rusty at Mario, and I just, how could you ever be rusty at Mario? But I clearly am. So give me a couple worlds to warm up here, guys. Um, but you can also go in reverse, which is pretty cool. We can even go back and get some of those turtles that were earlier in the level that were on the other side. Like, we could go back over here. But I don't think I will. Um, that was such a fun mechanic when, when you first saw it. Being able to swing around on the, uh, like this thing here. Yeah, we'll go and get these guys. Look at this. One thing I will say about Mario World is I think it is way easier than the other Marios that come before it. Like, you can just get one-ups like crazy in Mario World here. I'm already almost up to 20 one-ups, and honestly, I've been messing up a little. Like, I'm not even playing super tight. <laughs> so, um, it's... They definitely sort of figured, forget about making the game hard, let's just make it fun. Which, I think as a kid, I appreciated more. I don't think I necessarily wish this game was harder, but I will say that, as a kid, Super Mario World here was 100% my favorite Mario game. But as an adult, I think that, that, uh... Um, I think that, uh, Honor falls to, uh, Mario World, uh, 2. Oh, crap. You have to knock this guy off the... into the lava, there we go. Um, for me, it's a lot like, kind of like Back to the Future. Like, originally, I loved Back to the Future 2 as a kid, and the first and third one I wasn't as crazy about, but I did like the first one more than the third one. Nowadays, it's kind of reversed, where I think the first one is actually the best movie, and it's the, uh, you know, second one that I enjoy, but it's just not as good. Um, and so I think the same is true with Mario. Kind of, it moved around as I aged. I loved Mario 3 when it came out, then Mario World blew me away, and then nowadays, it's sort of like Mario 2 is like my favorite Mario game. Uh, it just feels like the most interesting to play for me, and it has like a good difficulty level. Um, and yeah. But if you do want to explore the world of Mario, you know, this is where it's done. Oh, and by the way, this is where we get our first... I never noticed before, but I guess you don't get a cape until this level. Boom. Huh. So the first world has no ability to fly, but now... Oh, yeah, you can fly, and you can float. Oh, no! Oh, we missed the cloud area! Oh, God. Okay, I'm rusty at flying. Whee! Okay, I want to go back and see some of the stuff that we actually skipped. Oh, my God. Okay, well, so much for the ability to fly. Run, Mario! Do we want that extra mushroom? Yoshi is still here. Wow, that's pretty generous of them. Okay, let's see if we can get another cape. This level is all about capes. I like how even the Koopas are super. They can fly too, man. Oh my god. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> I've already died once. Oh, there it is. The flashing guy is what we want. Give it to me. God, no. Oh my god. Float. The floating mechanic is interesting because it's basically like uh, Princess Peach's ability to float in Mario 2. You just sort of like hover in the air. It makes landing really easily. E easy. Because uh, you can uh, sort of land precisely where you want. But anyway, oh, this is always a fun mini game. It's uh, totally random. So, okay, this one will have a one up now. So it's, you have to hit these in the right order. So if I hit, you hit them in the wrong order, I'm making it look easy, but it's totally random. Like, okay, whatever. It's always right, I guess. I guess I can't lose. There we go. I hit that one in the wrong order. The worst is when you hit this one and it's a coin, this one and it's a coin, then you go to hit this one and you jump up over it and you're like, oh no! I did that just for demonstration purposes, guys. I sacrificed a life for you guys. Just so you could see. Kill it. Oh god, oh god! <laughs> I think one of the funnest things about Mario World here was seeing all the different enemies. I recall later on we see like Goombas that are like pair dropping in, which is pretty cool. And actually, Goombas are fairly rare in this game, which is interesting. So in the f in the first and third Mario, yeah, and if you're wondering what all these dash lines are, you have to like unlock the uh, you have to unlock the um, what you call it, the green blocks. The way we unlock the yellow exclamation point blocks, like this one right here. Oh my God, I can't believe that <laughs> went right through that. Um. But yeah, King Koopa 
He was all about having Koopas and Goombas. They were like the go-to enemy in Mario 1 and 3. But by Mario World here, it's like the Goomba is like a rare enemy. Like he's just not really around. Yeah, here's the secret to this is don't overthink it. Crap. Okay, I think I help oh, him. So you're basically trying to line things up tic-tac-toe style, and if you just go in a sequence, boom, 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 get all nine, you'll get at least the outer row right, and that's like four lives. Trying to get the center one is like a fool's errand, like it's never gonna happen. Um, now, here's a, here's another little secret, the, the red worlds, so this world is red, and as a kid you're probably wondering like, what the hell does that mean? Well, it basically means that there is a secret. So, it means there's a secret exit to the world, and if you find it, then you'll unlock an alternate path out of the world, so to a different sort of endgame level. So, we're just running back through this one real quick, and I'm gonna see, I think it was where that, uh, where those green dashed boxes were. And if we have the cape, we can just fly, so... Um, if we actually had those green, um, green dash boxes unlocked, we would be able to sort of run up the wall. That's what that little, here, you'll see it soon, but that's, there's like a, um, whatchamacallit, a pink, there it is, like a pink ramp. So if those green boxes were there, you'd run up the pink ramp and you'd just run, like, over the thing. But here, oh, nice try, let's kill these guys. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> nice thing about Yoshi is it gives you lots of chances. We fly up here, and boom! Secret exit. It unlocks this whole secret exit, so we can- Oh joy, we get a water level. For all our efforts. These sleepy fish, if you fly- if you swim too close to them, they will wake up and they'll eat ya. Oh god. The one nice thing for me is that if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you know that like... I mean, I don't... I... Maybe I'm bad at video games. I was gonna say, I don't think I'm bad at video games, but I certainly can mess things up sometimes. And... You know, we do the best we can to get as far as we can in every game, but... You know, sometimes we just don't have the time or whatever to... To ace every game. But... Oh, this is a fun power-up. A, like, blimp balloon. Mario gets all fat and bloated with gas. He's highly combustible like a lin- like a, a zeppelin right now. Oh, there's another one. How high up can we go? Just keep on going. I actually don't know what the end point of this level is. Is it this? Or is it- Oh god, get it? Oh, it's a one up. Oh, and another one right here. Okay, cool. Now we can just fall down. Wee! Good thing there's no fall damage. And there should be a one-up waiting for us. No? Oh. It's shocking. Oh, I'm not too- I'm not too busted up over here. I have like 24 lives. We might get to 99, actually. Uh, so anyway, what I was trying to convey is that, like, sometimes I mess things up, but I'm feeling confident enough about Mario here, Mario World, that we're gonna beat it, guys. We're gonna beat it. We're gonna crush Bowser. Um, oh, and here's an interesting mechanic. You can juggle power-ups. Um, actually, I'm gonna have the Fire Flower on in case I take a hit. Because it is valuable to be able to shoot fireballs in the, uh, underwater sections. But yeah, we're at 26 lives already. I think we got this in the bag. Don't wanna toot my own horn, but beep beep. Uh, but of course, overconfidence can be your undoing in video games. Oh god. All right, I mean, damage boosted through that one. Hey, another one up. Ah! Oh! oh no, that was the secret exit, too! Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to do this level again. And, uh, we're gonna have to rush for that key. They do do a lot of work to sort of, like, ease you into the idea of, like, multiple exits and stuff like that. Like, they make it fairly obvious that, hey, there's a key, you could have gotten that, and so you go back in, you replay the level. <clears throat> Nintendo is very good at teaching through doing, I find. Like, they don't... Like, there's some games that would have, like, 
a tutorial. It's like, did you know that every level will have a secret exit? If you find a key, make sure to try using it on the keyhole that is nearby. If you miss it, you can go back into a previous level that you've already beaten, like, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, like, just, just let me play the game and, like, let me figure it out for myself. Like, show it to me. And that might be totally efficient, you know? Um, and I feel like Nintendo is, like, the king of that. At least in the Mario games. I know, like, in some of their more modern Zelda games and stuff, they have, the you know, kill you with dialogue. Um... This is a fire flower, right? I'm just... I, I thought maybe that was the pea. Oh, no! Oh, well, Yoshi was just slowing me down. We don't need no Yoshi. Also, it's nice to have firepower when you're underwater. Fry all the fishies. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, God. Okay. Go! Oh, that guy's excited to get me. Okay, let's just take our time here. Nobody has to die a hero here. We want to live long enough to become the villains. I like how the keyhole sucks him in there. So those kinds of effects were effects that were, you know, possible because of the Super Nintendo. So as much as this game was designed to just be a great Mario game, it was also in the middle of the bit wars. And it was, you know, the console wars between, like, uh, Nintendo and Sega. And so they were doing their damnedest to make the game seem as technically impressive as possible. Um, you know, so that people couldn't claim that Sega does what Nintendo don't. Uh, and... okay, so we want this... This... Oh, God! Oh, good, we jumped high enough. Oh, maybe I wanted that spring, actually. Ghost houses are always a little bit of a puzzle. Crap, I did not want that. I wanted to keep a feather. Being able to fly is, like, such a bonus. It's definitely not an ability you want to give up haphazardly. Like I just did. Um, okay, so we got this. I honestly, the hardest thing for me, there's gonna be two hard parts of this game for me today. Well, that, that I just did. Um, ghost houses and the forest level. The mystery forest or whatever. Almost every single stage we encounter is gonna have multiple exits. So it's going to be, uh... I've already thought about, like, how long is it going to take me to figure out my way through that? Hopefully not too long. Um, here's a little preview, by the way, of Bowser's Castle. He's turned it into a Vegas Strip casino. But, uh, kind of cool that if you discover a few secrets in this game, you get, like, a preview of, like, the final level. Um, here's an ice... Oh, yeah, this. So you can actually control this line of coins. Uh, there we go. Uh, so the way, the way you control it is, like, whatever direction you're looking is where they go. When you look up, they go up. When you look, press down, they go down. Um, and then, I think this is, a no. If you can get a P block, then you can turn them all solid, and then you can, like, get places. Whee! Oh! Almost fell right in a pit there. Let's go. Let's get a one up here. Kill a bunch of enemies! Oh, a thousand... Come on, is there any more? Uh, no! <laughs> 2,000. Ah, uh, we didn't get there. It goes 2, 4, 8, and then 1 up. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. The ice and the spikes! Are too much for me. Um, I don't even know necessarily if we want to be going this path, because I don't want to skip any worlds or anything, but... We're like so... I, we need to figure out where that warp pipe goes, basically. Once we know where that the warp pipe after this level goes, maybe we'll backtrack. Okay, well... <laughs> what? Okay, forget about that star. Alright. Um, so for any, any people who have been watching, who have been fans of the channel, we should talk a little bit about the fact that uh, we're starting year seven. We're going strong into the... this is the 601st game. Uh, that we have played out of the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. So, uh, we are making, making, making progress, guys. I mean, we're, we said this last year, you know, we were over half done, but, like, we're really over half done now. It's, it's pretty much all downhill from here. Not in terms of, like, the quality or the momentum or anything like that, but just in terms of, like, 
you know, if we made it this far, like we're, oh, what? I threw that up instead of over. If we made it this far, we're getting to the end. Um, okay, just in the interest of time, uh, I'm gonna go back to try and get some other power-ups and stuff, and then we'll come back to that level. We haven't given up on that route. But, um... But yeah, I mean, we've had a lot of... fun experiences, I think, over the last few years. I mean, I say this every year, so I'm not gonna, like, fully reiterate everything. Um, but... Um, as always, you know, like... Uh, I just wanted to take this... This sort of... Mm, iconic? I don't know, the word's escaping me. The fact that it's a, it's a, not momentous, but like... It's, it's a big day, it's a big number. <laughs> uh, just to sort of like thank everyone who's been watching, uh, especially people who've been supporting me on, uh, Patreon, that really does help. Um, but even just people who are just watching the video... Oh my god, I should have gone. Even people who are just watching the videos, enjoying the quest, you know... Being here, commenting, liking, even just watching in silence, whatever the case may be. Um, I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank everyone who sort of stuck around in the channel. We've played great games, we've discovered great games, um, and yeah, I mean, we have like 400 more to go. Uh, which sounds like a lot, but when you consider that we've played our way through, uh, 600 already. I mean, you know, it's all downhill from here. Um, oh god. I, I'm like, <laughs> I was, I was breezing through this game for a bit, but I feel like now I'm sort of hitting a wall. Let's see if we can get some momentum. I, I think it's the lack of power-ups. When you don't have power-ups, it's so much easier to die. So it's like, power-ups are king. God damn it. <laughs> I wonder if I can get in there. No, you can't. You get in here? No. You get in here? No. Usually you can get in one of those. We gotta find this green block. Activator because the green blocks have uh, feathers in them. Uh, so having extra feathers is always a good thing. Like these ones give you mushrooms. That's fine. I'd much rather have a feather though. Um, are we at an exit, by the way? Kind of looks a bit like an exit. Um, if you had a Yoshi, the different colored turtle shells give Yoshi different abilities. The blue one that you saw over there, which I will try to get to over here. Blue one over here. Um, we get let Yoshi fly. So there's obviously something like way up there, like probably a one up or something, typically. Sometimes it's an alternate exit to a level, which is more important for us. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's been a fun ride on the channel. You know, I started this channel. Oh God. I mean, this is our seventh year. So, I mean, I guess six years ago, almost to the day I started the channel, but, um, you know, we're starting our seventh year of, of gaming. Um, I want to get a feather before I go into this world. So... And you'll see why in a minute. I'm gonna go back here. And just strategically get a feather. Oh, and I forgot about this trick. I just remembered. Wow. If you pause and press select on a world you've beaten, you just instantly exit. Isn't that a clever little trick? So if you ever need a feather, you can come back and farm it here. But I'm gonna show you guys an even better place to be farming your feathers. Start select. Whoa, I forgot about that. You can also farm one-ups, I think, on certain levels uh, like that because uh, there's like certain levels where one-ups are easily accessible near the beginning of a level. Um, so here's why we wanted... Oh no, damn it. <laughs> you may be wondering why I did that, why I'm trying to fly up into a huge swath of ghosts. But all will become clear in a moment. Okay. Go, Mario! Oh, and you can do an air stomp, too. I forgot. You do a hard landing. You chin into the ground with Mario. Flying. And... Oh, well, whatever. We'll take that hit. Get the hell out of here. The ghost house is a nightmare. Um, but yeah, what have your- what have your guys' experiences been this past year? Like, have there been games that you've liked? Um, has there been, like, funny moments, like when we've been playing games together? Here's the secret level that we just unlocked. Um, is there more fun stuff you'd like to see in the coming year? You know, like... Feel free to sound off in the comments, not just about Mario, but, like, about... Just, you know, your experience with the channel, period. Um, cause I'm always looking for feedback to hear what people are liking and stuff like that, but... 
Anyway, we've just found top secret area, which this is like the best level because it's basically just a place to stock up on any power up that you want. So these ones have feathers and these ones have fire flowers. You can just get whatever you want. Um, and you exit just like that and then you go back in. And the cool thing is once you get one Yoshi, that's a one up every time. So you can get infinite lives just by doing this whenever you want. Like here, I'll show you one more time. We're not going to waste our day doing this, but there you go. Infinite lives. All right, with the power of Yoshi, we got to go beat this level before we go on. Um, I remember, by the way, so that top secret area that I just showed you, I remember watching a video game show when I was a kid. So I don't know how old all of you are who are watching, but if you grew up in an era where you watched TV on Saturday mornings, then you might have watched like, you know, Electronic Playground and Video and Arcade and like other shows like that where they would like talk about video games and stuff and they'd sometimes show you, you tricks and tactics. Oh god. Oh yeah, Yoshi can walk on these. Huh. I don't know why Yoshi's feet are protected from spikes, but it's a very convenient ability to have. Um... Yeah, yeah! Oh god, Yoshi just took off there like a bat out of hell. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a one-up here. Oh no! Okay. Yoshi? Yoshi's just gone, man. He headed for the hills. But anyway, I was watching one of these Saturday morning shows and they were showing like tricks in Mario and I was like, did you know there's like a super top secret area in one of the ghost houses? And I just would have had no clue. And I went and I tried it and I was like, oh my God, it works. Oh, we made it over here. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, you know what? Let's just carry forward. We will... S I guess we're going to skip that one ghost house. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to play absolutely every level. Uh, cause it's just not possible, and in fact, there are star levels too. I'm gonna see if I can naturally find an exit, an entrance to the star levels, but if I can't, then I'll have to look it up. Cause we should at least see the star world before, um, uh, for, for completeness sake. Um, I know there's an entrance to the star world in one of the levels we've even already played, but I didn't see it and I couldn't remember where it was, so I'm not gonna cheat just yet. We're gonna try and have some dignity today. But, uh, when push comes to shove, we'll cheat. Of course we're gonna cheat if we need to. It's- it's Super Nintendo, for God's sake. We're gonna cheat. Um, but yeah, it just, uh, you know... The- the fact of finding that super secret area from, like, that, uh, that TV show... Um, I- I always remember that. And I always remember that super secret area every time I play Mario World, because it's, like, so handy. It's, like, one of the- the tricks I'll, like, never forget about this game my whole life. Um, and I'll always remember where I heard it and stuff. And yeah. And this just brings me back to like, you know, something I've talked about many times on the channel, which is like back in the day before the internet, if you wanted to know a game secret, somebody would have to tell you at school, or you'd have to see it, you know, like on a TV show, or maybe you'd have to buy a Nintendo Power magazine. Or, do you guys remember having book fairs at school? Where, like, the, the school would set up, you know, a bookstore. I don't even know who was running it, actually. But people would show up and try and sell you books. And, um... I remember as a kid, there were only two kinds of books I was interested in. Ghost stories and video game tip books. <laughs> so, like, I remember literally buying... Like, they looked like novels. They weren't like Nintendo Power, where they were, like, all full of, like, pictures and stuff like that. It was, like, literally... Um... Oh, there we go. That's what I was trying to do the first time. It's like literally a book, and it's just like talking about various video games. It's sort of like the sports almanac from Back to the Future. It would tell you all the tips and tricks for every single video game uh, that they fit in there. So I remember buying a whole bunch of books like that. It was like more Super Nintendo tricks and stuff like that. Um, oh, you dick. You jerk. Oh, God, the feather. Save me, feather. Oh, Goombas! Goombas make their first appearance. So you don't stomp them like in Mario 3. You pick them up. You, like, stun them and pick them up. I always remember that difference, too. I wasn't sure if I really liked that difference, to be honest. Hey, that guy caught his own shell. Good for you, buddy. The Koopas aren't going to be pushed around anymore, it turns out. Um, you know, I, I don't really care. Oh, here's the running on walls. Wee. 
I don't really care that the Koopas, that the Goombas, uh, you know, would, uh... Weren't just things you could squish anymore. But it did sort of feel to me like... You know, the Koopas are the ones that you would sort of knock upside down. And the Goombas should be squishable. You know, it's just it's how I was raised, you know, in Mario. <laughs> Mario 1 and 3, you squished Goombas. It's how I was raised. Um, so... It wasn't necessarily wrong that, uh... You know, that they changed them, but it just, it felt a little weird. I sort of like squishing them better. I missed squishing them, I guess. Really. Like, look at these guys. Oh, how I wish I could squish you, buddy. Oh, I wish you were open to being squished. You can eat people through the walls, too. Man, Yoshi's tongue is, like... Super useful. Oh, yeah, this one. You get to decide what power-up you want, but you kind of have to hit it before. So, like, if you want... Let's say you want the feather. You kind of have to hit, jump when it's... Nope. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I did it. Thought I messed it up. Oh, yeah, there's a paratrooping in uh, Koopa Troop... Or, uh, Goombas, too. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, here they come. Air dropping in. The Goomba 101... The elite Goombas, they paratroop in behind behind enemy lines, try and land on Mario. Oh no, Yoji, come back! Okay, so the two jokes everyone makes about Yoshi is that for Yoshi to eat, Mario punches him in the back of the head. Bonk, bonk, bonk. So may Yoshi might not be eating things voluntarily, it might be like an involuntary result of like physical abuse. Like, if someone punched me hard enough, so hard in the back of the head that I opened my mouth and swallowed whatever was in front of me. Like, that's- I think that qualifies as abuse. And the other joke with Yoshi is that Mario can jump off of him mid-air, and so there's a few secrets in the world that require you to make a jump, and then jump off Yoshi so that Mario can get to some high place, but then Yoshi just falls in a pit and dies. <laughs> and so it's like another- the joke is that Yoshi, once again, is being abused. Because it's, like, more convenient for Mario, and so he's just, like, literally sacrificing his friend to death. Um, and that one is, you know, there's- you can't really argue that Mario might not be hurting him, so... Yeah, in some- in some respects, I feel a little bad for old Yosh being in this abusive relationship with this psycho plumber who's punching him in the head so hard he's... I mean, I've heard of people being punched so hard they barf, but imagine being punched so hard that you ate. You gotta figure that's harder. Or maybe Yoshi's is very hungry. He's like, I don't care how hard you punch me, I'm still gonna eat that thing. Uh, we don't want any power-ups, because we're happy with the, uh, the feather. I feel like the fire flower in this game is, like, very, uh, underwhelming. Not that uh, there's anything wrong with it as a power-up, but just, like, I, I always, as a kid, wanted the cape. Always. I was never like, oh, sweet, the fire flower. I was always like, the fire flower just holds you over until you find a cape. Um, in the later Marios, they introduced, like, the ice, the ice flower. So it's like, it wasn't just fire, but you could also shoot ice and you could freeze guys and stuff. And I remember that was, that's actually quite cool. And there are times when I'm playing the newer Marios where I will take that, or I'll take the mini mushroom or something over the flying ability. But in this game, it's all about the cape, man. They were like, they, they knew what they were doing when they designed this game. You weren't supposed to play this with any other power-up. Boink! It's like being able to fly gets you all the secrets. And being able to, to float when you land means you're never gonna like, oh god, oh god, oh god. That's, that's death right there if you do that wrong. Being able to sort of have a controlled slow landing allows you to not, uh not miss your jumps as much. And look, the cape is like killing those uh, dry bones, which are actually like impossible to kill any other way. So it's like the cape it is literally super powered. We're trying to, like, see, we, we even made that jump, that big gap of a jump. We're not supposed to. Oh, they don't want you making these jumps this easily. There we go, kill this guy. Oh, we could get another feather. Um, anyway. I always thought it was interesting how a leaf gives you the power to fly in Mario 3, and a feather gives you the power to fly in Mario 4 here. And they're so similar, like sometimes when I'm talking, 
I might have even done it in this video already, but I'll be meaning to talk about the feather and I say the leaf or vice versa. Because they almost look identical, too. They're so similar. But why did... Do we ever... Like, has anyone ever talked about this? Why does a leaf... <laughs> He's, like, kicking in the castle. Why does a leaf turn you into a raccoon? And why does a feather give you a cape? Shouldn't the power-ups have been a cape and, like, raccoon goggles or something like that? Like, that would make a lot more sense, right? Like, why a leaf? Is there something in Japanese mythology where, like, leaves have the power of raccoons or something? I... I don't know. Ooh, big ones. Big circles mean the world is big. And has more than one exit. I think there there are levels that even have like three exits. I wonder if it's the one like this, like a big red one. Oh, come back here, Yosh. Okay, here we go. Let's fly, baby. Okay. And you can spit the thing out. And we can do this. Okay. And... Let's see. Oh, no. I want to take this uh, blue shell with me because I feel like it's going to be the secret to, uh, to what we need to do here. Um, how am I going to do this? Hmm. I need to somehow get... Oh, there we go. That worked. I was going to say, I need to somehow get Yoshi to the other side here. And if you keep a turtle shell in your mouth too long, Yoshi will eventually eat it. Crap. Hmm. We've been being, like, too meticulous with this. Oh, we did it! Oh, good. Alright. Fly, Yoshi! Fly! Oh, yeah, look at that! Secret time, baby! See, flight is, like, the ability that's just, like, immensely useful here. Okay, I think to the left there is a secret star path, so we're gonna try and find the secret exit to this level. And my guess is it will also include flying. Somehow. Boom! These things are fun. You can, like, use them to, like, jump super high. Yeah. Gonna look for... It looks like you can do something over there. So that's something to keep your eye on. There's a thingy. There we go. Okay, Mario's on his own now. Remember where we parked Yoshi in case we want to come back for him. Um, okay, that doesn't really matter. That's just a Yoshi coin. Hmm. Oh, there's a thing right there. You guys see it? <laughs> see, they want you to use the spring to go up here. But we're too smart for that. Okay, we need Yoshi. If we had Yoshi, then we would, uh, we'd have enough zing to get up there. So the question is, how do we get Yoshi up? Can we fly? Oh, there's like just not an, not quite enough room to build up the speed. <laughs> what is this, by the way? That's just a coin. All right. Well, the other option is to look at where we were placing that spring. Maybe we could have placed it a little better. Hmm. Like, this is not gonna be nearly high enough. Like, just barely. See, you need that blue block almost. I, it, like, if we had the blue block, this would almost be a non-issue. Okay. Let's just see what's in here. Maybe there's a Yoshi. Nope. Feather. Okay. Ah, it, it like, it kills your sideways momentum to jump on that thing. Oh, okay, hold on. We hit it on it just on the edge. I think we might be able to do it. Oh, almost. Okay, hold on. I, I'm almost ready to just move on and we'll try and like unlock the blue blocks, but. Ah, <laughs> we did it. Persistence, determination, these are the qualities that make a Mario World player the best. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, be a Star World, Star World, Star World. Oh yeah. The most secret of secrets. 
So these are like super secret hard worlds. And not to spoil anything too much, but uh, there is... Oh, if you feed these baby Yoshis enough, they turn into real Yoshis. And the blue ones, no matter what turtle shell they eat, they always fly. So these are like super valuable Yoshis. Um, so the Star Worlds allow you to like uh, warp between all sorts of uh, different parts of the map of the world. Is that guy swimming away from me? Oh, we killed him anyway. Oh my god, look at this, we're at like 40 lives. Insane. Um, yeah, so there is a super secret Star World too. Man, we're going for it. But the, uh... There's like so many things to talk about, I'm like losing track of them. The blue Yoshis are super valuable, because they always fly, like... Oh yeah, you can do a dance in there. Oh yeah. So see, if we go to this Star World here, this will take us... Yeah, look in the middle of the ocean. Um, so you can get there normally, like that's another warp site you can get. So like later on in the game when you've unlocked, um... When you've unlocked most of the, uh... Game, yeah, see there's a secret up there too. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now... Problem is that Yoshi's dead. <laughs> Oh, sh! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, let's try this again. I forget what the yellow Yoshi does. But you feed him enough of these things and we'll find out. Oh, he stomps! Right, when he has a turtle in his mouth, when he lands, he stomps. Okay. So let's try and kill this guy. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, we could get a bunch of one-ups on this level, too. Okay. He's dead. Now, we can have as many chances as we want, although he will respawn. Crap. Go! Okay, it's... Oh, God, don't hit me. And hold on. Ah, uh, right up here! Yes! <laughs> Oh man, these challenges are actually a little tricky. I remember like as a kid that would have taken me way longer. It's like decades of muscle memory just burned into the back of my head that I like haven't forgotten for some reason. But yeah, I can see these these worlds are usually designed around a special colored Yoshi. And they have like, you know, interesting advanced mechanics and secret exits and stuff. And if you Oh, we want to be able to fly, that's for sure. If you get to the end, see he does like a stomp. If you get to the end of all these star worlds, then you do unlock like super star worlds, which are like really secret. We're gonna keep regenerating our blue shell by spitting it out so that we can continue to explore freely. Like being able to, like this is just like cheating, <laughs> this level of flight <laughs> in the game. As long as I don't take a hit, I'm good. Okay, we don't even want to go in there, I don't think. Let's regenerate our shell again. It's keeping it nice and fresh. Not too riddled with Yoshi's saliva. There we go. Like, these levels, I think, also have, like, a bunch of one-ups and stuff, but... We're not really worried about that. Okay. So here... This... Is where I think we need to go underneath. Oh, no! <laughs> I passed the level and died. I passed the level and died. So I think there you go underneath the exit, and then when you come out the other side, there's a secret exit. The way you do it is you go down on Yoshi, and then you do a jump off of him, sacrificing him. I thought that I could do it with the flying shell, but apparently not. But we have another shot here. Because we can grab this Yoshi's flying shell. And we can be off to the races. Now, when I spit out a turtle with the red Yoshi, the turtle comes out as a fireball, so I don't know if I can... Yeah, I tried to just place the shell down carefully, but it came out like this. So, Alright, it's okay. I'm not going to use my feather because I don't want to lose it in case we die again. But I guess now we will try out this area here. 
here. Come here, come here, Yoshi. Come here. There we go. Okay, so that's nothing. That's nothing. And similarly, nothing. Okay. It's funny how they let you, like, pass the level but die. I didn't know that they would allow you to do that. But I think this time I'm just going to sacrifice him. Oh! Oh, I did it! Oh, wait, there's nothing over here! Wait, that's not the exit? Okay, what happens when you just pass this level, then? <clears throat> so this might be one where we don't know what the secret exit is. Hmm. Yeah, so you need to find the secret exit to go on. Let's try it one more time. If I can't find it, we'll go back to the regular levels and we'll just, you know, carry on normally and... Maybe we'll find our way back to the Star Road before the end of today. But, you know what? Oh, well, so much for Yoshi! Alright, well we better take the power of flight so we can explore a little bit. Although we can just exit the level, so that's handy. You know what I'm gonna do since I can just exit the level? I'm gonna go get Blue Yoshi again. And then we'll just, uh, peace out on this... ...level here. Alright. Eat! Eat! Eat your skin and bones! Right, we are gonna get, like, a 1-up, but that's actually not what I want. Oh, wait, he just ate the star. Yoshi! I mean, that's... fine. <laughs> Wasn't what I thought you were gonna do, though, bro. Alright, now... Where would this... Oh, another 1-up. We're at 46 lives. Told you guys, we're probably at 99 before the day's out. Okay, so going up, there really isn't anything. It's gonna make sure we're not missing anything up here. I think the secret is actually gonna be going down. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything up here. Nothing. Like, what is this? What is this? <gasps> oh! Hey, what is... what is this? Oh, hello! No! <laughs> oh, I got the wrong turtle! Okay, we figured it out. We figured it out, okay. So we have to just have to fly over to that part, which we can do easily. Hey, we got another one up. Uh, Alright, I was literally about to be like, Alright, well, you know what, we'll see if we can find it later in the game, but... I see. Let's take one of these guys. God damn it. You know what's tricky about that level? They give you a red Yoshi. So if you bring a red Yoshi... Oh, I have a cape! <laughs> okay. Let's get Yoshi to eat this star and be on our way. I was gonna say, they give you a red Yoshi, so that if you bring a turtle down there, you can't, um... You won't be able to... Uh, hit the, the question mark block and get the coin out, or the, the key out of it. But I forgot that I had a cape, and that I could just, uh, you know... Uh, spin with the cape and hit it, so... That's okay, we're enjoying our time playing Mario. Little, little more Mario never hurt nobody. So I'm curious how many of these secrets in the game that you guys all knew about growing up, uh, how many you... you know, learned about from books, magazines, TV shows, friends on the bus... Um, you know, like, where, where did you learn about all your Mario secrets? And did you ever get this game to, like, 100%? I think 100% in this game is like 92 or something like that. Um, like if you, uh... Let's see, there you go. If you... When we're saving our game continuously, if we go to the main menu and look... Hey, it sucked into turtles! <laughs> if you go into the main menu and look, um... You'll see that... Um, hold on, what level is this? Uh, we get, we get, like, a point for every level we've unlocked, and I think it only goes up to, like, 92 or something. It always bothered me as a kid that it never hit 100, because it's, like, it really made me be like, what am I missing? Like, <laughs> what, like, what world did I not get to? Because, like, I felt like it, it was a percentage, and it was supposed to be 100%. Um, but... I don't think it was. Okay, so we need to go up here somewhere. Oh, God. Okay, let's do that. No! Uh oh, we can't even exit. Hold on. Are these all red guys? 
Oh, you bastards. Oh, okay, just fly your way to victory, Mario. I'm just gunning it. I'm going as high as I can, as far as I can, as fast as I can. Oh. Hold on. Ah! Here we go. What's this? Oh, this is- this looks like a secret exit of sorts. Okay, I saw a turtle here. Oh god. Are you guys- is there anything under you? Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh god! Sorry, you! I'm, I'm sorry, Yoshi! I'm sorry! Okay, well we know what we gotta do for this level. I miss Yoshi already, man. He was a good dinosaur. He, he played his part well. Any of these... active? No. You know what I was thinking about the other day is how did you first learn that you could go down, uh, pipes in Mario? Uh, cause like... Honestly, like, if you had never played Mario before, the first time you're playing it, the first level does a lot of good things, like showing you that what mushrooms are, and coin blocks, and Goombas, and all that stuff. Um, like, the first level of Mario 1 has been talked about forever. But nowhere in the level does it kind of tell you... Um, oh, look, we can play this one. Let's give it a shot. Before we go on to the, uh... Last level. Oh, yeah, this one. This one is like, uh, you just sort of, like, start busting your way down, and then hope that you're in the right spot. If you have a... if you have a, uh... Whatchamacallit... Leaf, you can sort of... oh, there we go. You can bust your way, you know, horizontally here, so you can explore a bit more. Um, but I th think... There's just sort of at some point... We don't care about that one up. There's at some point, like, a, a key that you wanna... you wanna get. And we'll get a star, I guess. Hmm. Like, where do we think they would be a key? Nothing in there. Like, this one, I think... Hmm. I don't know how we're gonna... I guess it doesn't matter if we, like, find the secret exit on this one, because this is just, like, it is whatever it is. Hey, there's a Yoshi. We missed him. Alright. Is this just the exit? Yeah. That's an interesting level. I remember playing that one as a kid. Uh, but yeah, where did you learn about all your secrets? All your secrets. Um, I'm really curious about that. And like, yeah, Mario 1. Where did you learn that you could actually go down pipes? I feel like somebody had to show that to me. I don't know where I would have figured it out. Maybe the instruction manual talks about it. Oops. Go back and get Blue Yoshi. Um... But yeah, if, if not for that, then I don't know where you, how you'd figure it out. Um, oh, here we go. Man, Blue Yoshi is such a hack. Like, once you have Blue Yoshi, it's like you- you don't even need all the other things. So, the final secret I'm trying to do in the Star World here... Um, is gonna unlock, like, the Super Star World. And I think at that point we'll go back to the regular world, because this has been a huge detour. It's funny, we're playing Mario World, and I'm like, oh yeah, we'll go through all the levels. On stage two, we're literally going into, like, some of the mo most secret levels of the, the whole game. I didn't, uh, I wasn't planning on kind of doing it in this order, but... We'll go back to more regular stages momentarily. Please stand by. Uh, but I got a green turtle shell specifically... ...so that we get over here. Oh, Yoshi, you ate him! Dude, that's not what I wanted you to do. Okay. 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 Let's just, uh, go back... ...and see if we can... Oh god, Yoshi! <laughs> so, the reason I got a green turtle shell is I could spit him out and, like, regenerate him. Okay, so let's- maybe this time we'll hang a bit closer to the ground, so I can find a safe spot to regenerate this shell. Because one shot does not get us to everywhere we need to go. All right, there we go. Perfect spot. Grab it. And let's go. I think I got enough juice in this shell to get me to the secret spot now. And now I'm gonna drop it here. So see, you need to unlock the green blocks too. Um, and then you need to unlock the red blocks. And the blue blocks. And here's the secret. And if you did all that, then you would have the super secret exit, or you can just cheat. 
<laughs> so it's supposed to be like a culmination of all the worlds you've beaten. Because you have to unlock the yellow ones, the green ones, the pink ones, the blue ones, and then finally, you can get to the super secret, special Star Road. Gnarly. And these are like the hardest levels in the game. Um, I'll just try one really quickly here to show you. Um, you know what, maybe we'll- maybe we'll actually beat all these before the day's out. You know, maybe we're gonna be badass and like totally like 100% Mario here. There we go. Poor Yoshi. Had to let him go, man. So far this level actually doesn't look too intense. I think this- the special- oh god. The special worlds, as I recall, have like very interesting and unique mechanics. Um, and some of them are, are brutal. I, I remember there's one level where you have to constantly get those, like, uh, POW, uh, you know, balloon gas airbags that, uh, make you all puffy. And you just have to, like, the whole level has no ground. And you have to go float around and find the next question mark block, and if you don't find it in time, then you're just screwed. And... yeah, I... Oh man, we don't have enough momentum! <laughs> He screwed us! Alright, well, you get the idea. These are some very hard levels. We're gonna go back. And, uh, we're gonna go back to the regular world. And we're not even gonna bring a special Yoshi with us, because, frankly... Um... It'd be too easy. We need a little bit of a challenge. We need a little zing in our Mario. So anyway, I, I hope that, uh, sufficiently gave you guys a peek at some of the more fun, harder sections of Mario that you would continually unlock. Um, and now we're going back hardcore. No power-ups even. We didn't even go back to our special pow power-up world from the ghost house. We're just doing this hardcore. <laughs> we're playing Mario hardcore. Um... But yeah, I think one of the cool things about this game is just how many secrets there are. Like, so Mario has always been a game about secrets. And it's interesting because I don't think I ever thought of it like that. I thought of Mario as, it's Mario, right? But when you really pause and think about it, you're like, Mario is a game about secrets. And I've seen people, other people on YouTube talk about this. This isn't my observation. But I think what's cool about secrets is that they, um, they allow players to play at different skill levels. So when you're not very good at Mario, when you're a kid and you're new to it, you're playing to pass every level. You know, you're playing to pat to, to get to the end, uh, to beat, you know, the bosses of each castle, and to beat Bowser. Um, it turns out that that's, like, almost the first level of difficulty of this game. And, um, you know, it's fine to play that way. But if you are a more hardcore player and you want a bigger challenge, you can hunt for alternate exits in levels. The harder exits, the less obvious exits, and you can get secrets, like, like we're discovering along the way. And... I feel like that is one of the reasons why a game like this is considered one of the best Mario games ever made, why it's so timeless, why when it came out it was like such a big deal. I mean, first of all, the first time you play the game, you know, it's catered to your skill level. It's not, it's not crushingly hard. Um, but the longer you play, the more you realize there's more to it. And as you get better at the game, or if you are like a more advanced player to begin with, you can go hunting for those bigger challenges, and you can find more and more and more levels. And I remember, when we found the Star Road, we were like, oh my god, like when we first found the Star Levels in my house, I remember it was like such a big deal. And we spent so long playing them all, and we were like, wow, these levels are so cool. A and they each had a secret exit, and that's how you got out of them. And then, I, I don't even know how we did it, but it wasn't, it wasn't immediate. But at some point, we discovered that there was like a super secret set of star levels. So we discovered the special road that I just showed you guys um, a moment ago. And honestly, we didn't discover that right away. So it's not like as soon as we found the, the star area, we knew there was an even more secret area. We had no idea. Um, ooh, sweet. I was gonna bounce on these guys, like, with this jump, but this is a far more lucrative way of killing them. Turn you into money, and eat you. Two up! Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You die now, you die now. Any power-ups in here? 
I feel so vulnerable when I'm small as Mario. It's like being in a dream, being naked, you know? Like, you dream that you're in school and you're in your underwear or something like that. So this, is, this is what it's like to play Mario when you're small. But yeah, the, the cool thing about this game is like you thought you beat it when you beat Bowser and then you found out there were all these secret levels you hadn't even seen. And then you thought you beat it when you beat them. And then you found out there was a whole star world you hadn't seen. And then you thought you beat it when you beat them. And then you found out there was a special world that you hadn't seen. Like the secret I think that makes this game so amazing is that like it just never seems, there always seems to be more to discover. There always seems to be more worlds, more levels. Um, okay, I can't get on top of- these are dolphins, by the way. I'm trying to get on top of these guys, it's not really working out. Um, so yeah, I remember we played this game forever in my house, like, you know, we would bring it on like- Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! Okay, whatever was in that question mark block, we don't need that badly. Um, uh, but we would bring it on like, you know, vacation trips and stuff, like, we would play this game all the time, man, and, uh... And it, it, it didn't get old forever. Forever. I mean, eventually we got we got bored of it. You know, as as is gonna happen to every single video game. But um oh, this is kind of a fun level. I forgot about this. You can't have to like jump off them just as they hit the water. Um, you know, this game has so much replay value and longevity. Even levels that you've beaten before, it's fun to go back and like play them again. You can tr you can bring in different colored Yoshi's and try with different power ups. You can try and do it without the cape, you know, to like make it harder for yourself. You can do all sorts of stuff. Like, you know, it's it's just it's great. Okay, actually, before we go through this castle, let's backtrack a bit because we keep taking secret routes. Let's return to the main route. This this big level here is the main route of the game, and we actually just went on a secret path, and we took two different secret exits. Let's take the real exit and see where the game's actually supposed to lead. We're not going to abandon that secret route on top of the mountain that we uh, just left, but, you know, we're going to... we're going to walk away from it for a moment. We'll kind of come back. Oh, hey, secret mushroom. Don't mind if I do. Oh, fire flower, don't mind if I do. What is this up here? Ah, too bad you can't wall jump or you could get up there. Wall jump- Mario didn't know how to wall jump back- back in these days. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think the- the... sort of purveyance and- and... commonality of secrets in this game... is like, oh, you bastard, oh god. <laughs> Almost died trying to get a one up. The ultimate irony, dying trying to get an extra life. Um, the fact that there were so many secrets in this game, I think, really gave it longevity. And I think, honestly, like, secrets in video games in general are something that is one of the funnest things about video games, I think. Like, discovering secrets is, like, one of the, the small but important joys in games. Like, wh what game that has secrets do you wish the secrets weren't there, you know? Like, secrets are always fun. Um, like, there's a, there's a few sort of very, very, very core generic mechanics that, uh, that video games have, and should have. Um, and I feel like Secrets is one of them. Like, if we want to boil it down to, like, the DNA of, like, games, you know? Um, so yeah, Secrets. Secrets are a big thing. Um, oh, get out of here, football guy. Also, why are there random football players in this game? <laughs> The enemies in Mario never made a lot of sense, but it's like turtles, little mushroom potato people, the Goombas, and football players, <laughs> randomly, athletes. Mario has now pissed off the monster athlete community for some reason. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. He found a way. Oh, they're getting really stingy with the, uh, the leaves or the feathers all of a sudden. It's like they don't want you finding secrets or something. Those jerks. I guess they had to make the the feather somewhat rare because otherwise you just use it all the time. But the fact that you can go into previous levels that you've beat and you can, uh, you know, start, select, and exit them immediately means you can just go into a level that has an easily accessible, uh, you know, leaf and uh, or feather and get one like this. Be on your way, you know, very easily. So um, you did end up using the... Uh, the 
leaf for most of the game. I guess we'll get that, and we'll go back to this. Always got to keep a feather active so we don't accidentally lose it. Oh, God, no! <laughs> you dick! He turned around at the last second and bit me in the bum. Did you see that? That was ridiculous. Okay, I guess we'll take this. Okay. This might be a secret here. Go for it. Let me go down here. Get this thing. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't intending to find more secret exits right now, but whatever. There we go. Sure, we'll take it. Why not? I guess I'll take another secret exit. Ooh, the pink... Oh, red, red switch palace. Okay, that is a good secret exit. Oh, this is an interesting one. So you actually want to lure this guy into killing all his turtle brethren, and he'll get you a, a one-up. Oh man, he almost, he almost iced us at the end there. Pretty funny. Yeah, now this will turn all the pink outlines into exclamation point. Or the red ones, I guess. Um, I think... I don't think you can hit the red ones, though. I think red and blue are kind of dead blocks. The green ones give you feathers. The yellow ones give you mushrooms. I mean, the red ones, it would have made sense to give you a fire flower. But, um, no, it's... I don't think they give you anything. Um, so you can go back and go into any world that you've beaten before. Oh, yeah, and when a fish is flopping out of water, it's totally vulnerable. You can just step on it and it dies. Um, any level that you've beaten, you can just walk back in. Except castles. They didn't let you replay castles. <laughs> um, however, there's a secret for that, too. There's a secret for everything in this game. You know? Um, if you want to play a castle that you've already beaten, you just go onto the castle and press L and R on your Super Nintendo controller at the same time, and you'll go into the castle. So, yeah, they didn't... <laughs> like, nothing... <laughs> nothing was left to chance in this game. They thought through everything... And they were like, well, we don't want people replaying castles, but... Secret. And they just decided to let people do it. So, yeah. That was another one I think I had to read about. I, I don't think I ever would have figured that out on my own. God. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah, Fire Flower. Alright, I remember this part. Get that, too. Oh, hello. Hey, football. Speaking of football players being in Mario randomly and how it doesn't make any sense, here they are. Okay, we definitely want the leaf. So we hit it when it's a fire flower. You hit it when it's like one behind what you want. No! <laughs> okay, well, don't listen to me. <laughs> All right, well, never mind. Oh, God. Um, we just go for it? Let's just go this way. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Things are... Ha the, the music, the intense, the, the high... Uh, Tempo music was sort of like making me feel like I was in a bigger rush than I was. You're like, calm down, Jay. Calm down. Mario's in no rush here. Oh my god, that guy just multiplied. So apparently football players can bend the laws of, you know, physical existence when it suits them. I didn't realize that was a thing football players could do. I guess only if you're a Koopa football player. Alright, let's rack up some one-ups here because we're in desperate need. Crap. That one stupid one is like out of sync. Three. I'll take it because it gets me to 60. But I'm not happy. I wanted four. If you can get all... If they were all mushrooms instead of stars, that would have been like nine lives? No, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's like eight lives. It's something crazy. All right, another ghost house. I will say that I think ghost houses are my least favorite levels just because they're mazes. That's all. Um, I don't think they're like bad concepts for levels, like the idea of having a maze and like mixing up the kinds of levels that Mario would go through. I think it's good. Um, and so I think ghost houses like in general are a good idea. I just personally don't happen to uh, enjoy them very much uh, because of their maze like nature. I don't like feeling confused. I'm confused enough in my day-to-day -day life. I don't need it in my video games, you know? You know? Yeah, you know. Okay, is there anything in any of these? Just hit a random smattering of them and... Assume we would have gotten whatever was in there if there was something good. Oh, hello. Alright, come to me, King Boo. And boo-hoo yourselves, because- Oh, God! Because <laughs> I got past you. 
Oh god, oh god, okay. In we go! We're totally going for that Yoshi coin. Alright, we got it. I like how when you're staring at the ghost, they just pretend like nothing's going on. But as soon as you look away, they're like, aha! We're gonna try and get you. Oh god. Can you just fly through this part? Yeah. So we haven't really flown past any levels, but, you know, that's how you do it. <laughs> oh! Okay, there's a secret door there. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. Now, those bubbles are kind of interesting. They, like, erase whatever's in front of them. I feel like I remember that now that I'm seeing it, but I wouldn't have been able to, like, tell you that before we came into this level. There we go, we found our way out of the ghost maze. The ghost houses, of course, house the tormented souls of all the Goombas and Koopas Mario has crushed over the years. Never being able to rest, eternally seeking their vengeance, never being able to get it. It's a tortured existence, but it's a life. It's a living. Oh, this is interesting, the lava monsters. Um, I almost want to switch off of my cape for this so I don't lose my cape by accident. Oh, well, never mind. The, the other thing about power-ups is if you have a power-up in the bank and you take and you just die, like you fall off a cliff and die, then the one that's in the bank up here right now, that fire flower, stays. So when you respawn, uh, you know, and when you go back into the next level, you can actually immediately summon it if you want it. So sometimes on a level like this where you're like, hmm, I might die, it's actually good to take the more preferable power up, like the the cape, and like dump it into the reserves in case you fall off a pit, because then you don't lose it, you know what I'm saying? So, I meant to do that, didn't get a chance, but look, here we have a cape again, but now I'm going to dump it in the reserves just in case something bad happens here. Because lava is a one-hit kill in Mario's world. Even Mario's in totally, uh, totally immortal. Walk past all these guys. Now, because this level was yellow, I know that there's no secret that's going to let me exit the level and find a secret exit. So on these levels, I feel like I'm not even really looking too hard for any kinds of secrets because... Oh, you dick! You jerk. Um... Oh, hello. Um... Oh, there we go. Whoa! Hold on, you gotta run up this, and then get Yoshi, there we go. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm not looking for any kind of- I mean, it's not like I would ignore a secret if I noticed one, but when you know there's not a secret exit to a level, the best you can hope for is like a one-up or something, and so I'm sort of like, eh, I don't really need it, so I'm not gonna risk- I'm not gonna risk dying in order to try and explore for one-ups, you know? I'll just, uh, stick with what I got. I'm just going to take this level nice and easy, not get eaten by a lava monster, and we'll go from there. Check a couple of these pipes since I'm on them. Oh no, Yoshi! Oh, come here, buddy. Don't run away like that, you scare me. Ooh, another- oh, yes. Okay, double feathers where I like to be in this game. It's like a nice, comfortable position. You know that... You're probably not going to get messed up too badly. None of those were anything. Ooh, lava waterfall. Oh! If you can land right at the top, I think you get a 1-up or something. It's very impossible to do, though. I think maybe I've done it, like, a couple times in my whole life. I will say one thing I think... Like, if we have to be totally nitpicky, you know, like, one area where I think this game is not as good as... Oh, my God. Yoshi! Oh, <laughs> two recoveries. Two recoveries. Um, one area where I think this game is not as good as it could have been. Crap, didn't want to get that. It overwrote my, uh, my leaf or my feather, whatever. Um, the, the end of the levels, that, like, goal post or whatever that you run through... It's, I don't find it really that fun. Like, you, trying to get to the top isn't really that interesting to me, because it's so hard to do that I just, I've given up at this point in my life. You know, I'm like, I'm too old to be trying to get to the top of the Mario World uh, goalpost. It's like impo an impossible task. 
And yeah, it's just, it's, you know, it's not badly designed, but other Mario games have way better designed goal points. Like even Mario 1, getting to the top of the flagpole, it could be done. And you didn't get a one up or anything, but it was, seemed more satisfying when you got it. And then, uh, in Mario Wii U, they took that flagpole from Mario 1 and made it so that if you get to the top, you do get a one-up. So it's like, hey, they just fixed the flagpole. Um, and that flagpole, I think, is better than the goalpost that we've got in this world. Um, in Mario 2, I guess a giant eagle just ate you. <laughs> but even that kind of felt a little more satisfying for some reason. And in Mario 3, oh, you got the, uh, yeah, you had like that sort of slot machine thing. And if you're running fast enough, you get a star and fireworks that was more satisfying i don't know so yeah i again this is one of the best games of all time don't take this the wrong way but i feel like that goal post they could have done better and actually since we're on the topic this is around the topic of shitting on mario world um <laughs> there actually is an interview with uh, miyamoto where he said that he felt this game was rushed at the very end um, oh, this is, uh, the, uh, what's his face guy? Oh my god, why did I do what I just did? I can't believe I didn't die there. Um, but yeah, he says that, uh, you know, this game was rushed near the end, and I don't know specifically what he would have liked to do differently, but I guess there was something, because it, you know, he, uh, he always felt like it was, not incomplete, but, you know, he would have liked a bit more time with it. Which makes me wonder, like, in a, if we could travel to parallel worlds, you know, sliders style. Um, if we could go to a parallel Earth where Miyamoto had been given all the time he wanted to finish this game, what would a totally complete Mario world look like? I wonder now. This game also has a uh, sequel? Uh, Mar Yoshi's Island? Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. It takes place when Mario's a baby, though, so I guess it's a prequel. But did you guys know that uh, before the Star Wars prequels, prequels were just called sequels? Like, there are a few examples of movies before the Star Wars prequels where the the next movie in the franchise took place before the first movie, um, but people didn't call them prequels. They just called them sequels. Um, and actually, it's kind of interesting. So it's like, Mar oh, crap. Just, again, burned my, uh, burned my cape. Kind of interesting to think about. So, the sequel to this game, which we would call a prequel these days, but is really just a sequel. That's the name for it. Um, historically, at least. Uh, is, uh, Yoshi's Island. So, there you go. Mario World 2 takes place in prior in time. Is it a sequel? Is it a prequel? I don't know. You guys be the judge. I, 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 I don't have a dog in the race one way or the other. I just... When I was reading about that, I was like, oh yeah, we did always used to just call things sequels. The idea of a prequel, that wasn't a word. It's kind of made up for Star Wars, honestly. Oh, come here, you. Ah, oh, this is like whack-a-mole. Only with, uh, you know, baby dragon dudes. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, we're just trying not to take hits here. Here, you bastard. The trick is to just stay in one spot. Don't over overthink it or overcomplicate it. Crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we got him, thank God. Oh. I like as I'm explaining the tips to you guys, I'm basically dying. But what I was trying to say is a trick for that one is just try and stay in one spot. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't overthink it. Just watch that fireball and just try and stay alive, and he'll come to you eventually. Uh, this one's he's smashing with a hammer. Mario has a unique way of destroying every castle. I appreciate the creativity. Mario has triumphed, triumphed over Lemmy. These are the Koopa Kids from Mario 3. And every other Mario game since, I guess. But Mario 3 is where I first introduced to them. Alright, so. The reason that I got down off the alternate path is I remember coming out of this cave and seeing that castle on the hill being like, man, I wonder if you can actually get up there. Like, before I found the alternate path that got you up to that castle just above us, I remember there's, like, a castle, there's a warp pipe, and in my head I was like, is it just scenery, or can you actually get there? 
and you know trying to like get to it um so uh should we backtrack yeah let's backtrack over there and check out that castle but uh let's go let's go full powered i feel like we should um we should get full powered over here oh we have to do this like long laborious route Okay, we uh, we need to really clear that ghost house properly. So if we want to come back for power ups, we don't have to take this like long route. Okay, let's get some power ups. Let's crush this ghost house and let's carry on on our journey. Let's get a one up first though. Burn these fire flowers on mushrooms, and we'll get some sweet feathers. Oh yeah. I like to imagine Mario literally shows up to like a boss fight holding a feather or two, and he's like, let's do it. You know, like, <laughs> those are his weapons. I've come bearing feathers. Don't make me mess you up, Bowser. I'll crush ya. This is an interesting one because if you do fly, you just get killed by those guys. I think you kind of want to run past that part, but you gotta also be a little cautious. Okay, so... Uh, and then you go this way, yeah. Again, maze. All about the mazes. Um, shoot, I don't even know the right way I should have done this. Um, I even get up here? Oh, there's, wait, there's nothing to get? Oh, I thought that I was supposed to, like... Wait, I'm confused. Oh, I think I, I seem to remember that you go through here. And wait. You go through here. Oh, wait, I have an idea. What if we take this through here? Oh, no, we lose it. Oh, but if you take it through there. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, see, see what I mean? I don't even 100% know what happened there. I just got inceptioned. Or it's like watching The Matrix for the first time. Something weird happened. I got out of the ghost house. That's all you need to know. There you go. Oh, we even get a bonus game. All right, let's 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 go for the gusto. I want eight lives. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. You gotta be very, like, deliberate in every jump. You'll get four every time. Alright, 67. It's solid. We're, we're climbing our way up to 99. We'll get there. There you go. Now we can easily get back and forth. And, again, the star road can be used to quickly navigate between worlds. So if we can unlock a star later in the game, then if we ever need to come back here, we have the star world on this island unlocked. You see, you can kind of use the star worlds like a hub world to like zoom between different parts of uh, parts of the game. Um, oh, we wanted to go on the upper path. That's right. Um, or actually, okay, we're all, we're all the way over here. Keep backtracking, guys. Let's carry forward on this one. Once we unlock the castle, we'll go back do the castle, cross the bridge, the upper bridge, and then we'll meet at the world castle here. Um, so I say we just. Fly our way through this one. Hiya! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god! Can't believe that worked. Can't believe that worked. Did they did they design this to be timed this way? Can't believe that worked. Oh my god! Uh, never in my life have I thought I screwed up as much as what I did right there. That is funny. Ooh, do we get a blue Yoshi now? Oh, this is like a flying level. Oh, Can we eat these guys. Oh, there we go. All right. Eat these little... I don't even know what they are. They're like wiggly, crazy guys. Oh, man, look at the sky behind us. We're flying through space at un ridiculous speeds. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is actually kind of challenging. <laughs> oh, it's not as easy as it looks. It's not as easy. And it doesn't even look that easy. Oh, God, no! Yoshi, fly! <laughs> Just forget about the stupid Yoshi kinds. We're, do we're going for survival now. Oh, man. Imagine dying in a bonus world. How embarrassing that would be, huh? It didn't happen, though. Just for the record. 
Okay, so there's one exit. But there's obviously um, another one. I kind of like that you can do this. It's actually kind of funny. Actually, you know what? We should be doing this the normal way. We've, we've already seen that cheap way of doing it. Also, Yoshi did turn blue. That little experience scared him so much, his whole skin tone changed. He's another race of Yoshi. <laughs> Imagine having, like, such a scary experience that you become another ethnicity. Like, you wake up and you're like, oh god. What happened? My whole ethnic background changed. That's hardcore, man. I wonder if I can eat these blades. Um, yeah, that would be that would be an ins insane experience. Happened to Yoshi though. He got scared blue. I I remember liking this level. These little uh, the blades and the uh, the things this is kind of fun. Okay, we have to say bye to Yoshi. Unfortunately, we have a blue Yoshi and we have to abandon him. Or maybe we don't. You know, let's keep Yoshi for as long as we can. We'll abandon him only if needed. Can we go down here? Yeah, we can. Wait, is this another level exit? Is it? Feels like it is. Oh, God. A whole bunch of bullets just flew at me. See, Mario is showing up to fights with, like, feathers in hand, and Bowser is showing up with, like, bazookas and stuff. Alright, we do have to give up Yoshi here. Maybe you could get through... Crap. No! My feather! Alright. We'll do it naked. We'll do it hard. Core! Oh, God! Oh, God! Climb! Oh, my God, Mario. Oh, whatever. Whatever, dude. That's scary. I think that might have been a part where we could go on Yoshi and jump off him underneath the thingy. Yeah, see that? That didn't do anything. So... there. I'm pretty sure I know how to do that level. Let's go back and get some power-ups and make it a thing. This is what happens in Mario. Um, we're not going to do this for every world, though. I mean, we only have... I think, like, two more worlds to go. Then we get to Bowser. Maybe we will do it for every world. Maybe I'm a dirty liar. But, um... Uh... You know, this you, you backtrack a lot in, in this game because you're like, Oh, I just want to get that secret exit. Uh, but I think it will unlock a star if we do this. And then we can actually use a star to warp over to the star here, so we'll actually save us some backtracking. So, like, I'm thinking fourth dimensionally for our plan, our plan here. All right, cheese bridge. Now, another thing we need to remember is that we can start select exit whenever we want. So if things aren't going our way, we can just straight up bail on this level, and we're fine. Oh, my God. That part's so stressful, but you just hold right. And you fly, and everything works out okay for old Yosh. Old Yosh face. All right, Yoshi. Do this, Do your same magic through this little trick area. And go! Oh! Thanks, Yoshi. Hey, a moon. Did you know that moons count as three extra lives in uh, Mario World? See, that backtracking was nothing. Cost us no time at all. And look. We've unlocked a water level. Oh joy. I'm so happy. I can hardly contain my enthusiasm. <laughs> this is actually a hardcore water level. There's like pirates have installed torpedo launcher bays everywhere. They're like that goddamn Italian plumber's making us look like fools. Break out the heavy... Heavy weapon torpedoes. Let's ice this mofo. Oh my god! Oh god! Oh no! Uh, do I want to wait for the feather? Yes, I do. Oh, I lost it instantly. Alright, go, 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 go. Move your butt, Mario. Okay, this is a, a yellow level, so I don't. I know I don't have to bother exploring very much. Oh my god! Thank god I'm small, actually. I think if we just go fast, we'll be okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay. 
I like how there's like peaceful, serene music, like the Mario underwater theme. It's like literally torpedoes being launched at me. They're trying to kill you. It's like watching Fight Club to like nursery rhymes or something, you know, like the music just doesn't fit with what you're, what you're seeing on the screen. There's nothing serene about that. Mario's life was in danger. All right. Ah, here we go. We've unlocked another star path. Oh, and there's even a star in the overworld to the, the right over there. So I forgot, I guess there's all these like little breadcrumbs that lead you to think, you know, if you first time playing it, you beat the game, but then you're like, I wonder what that star is, you know, and like these little things like make you wonder. And then you go back and replay and you discover all these awesome secrets. All right, we're going into Cookie Mountain naked. No power ups, no Yoshi, nothing. It's uh, dangerous for me to try it, but we can't we can't play every level totally safe. There we go. Out of my way, sumo man. Um hmm. Yeah, I want that question mark block that's up at the top. There we go. Probably just a mushroom. Just a mushroom, but <laughs> an appreciated mushroom. For sure. Did I see something up there? There's something up there. Maybe not. Oh god, get out of here. Okay, there's there's Koopas going on death slides over here. Alright, come over here, buddy. Let me lure the Monty Moles. We're here, and I don't know how I'm gonna deal with these guys. I guess this. I feel like that spin jump is like one of Mario's like secret weapons. And like at least for me back when I played this, I almost never used it. There's only a few times, like a couple of enemies in the whole game that I would ever even bother to try and use it on and it's like just a very infrequently used ability oh didn't even know that was a thing oh my god wait what's happening here what is this oh, i have to swim to the oh are you kidding me oh i can't believe i jumped over him oh my god jesus that spiky fish trying to make a meal out of me oh hello Sure. We. Oh wait, what? I backtracked. Was that a good thing? I got. A... They gave me a one up. Is it ultimately a good thing. Oh sweet. So because we had the pink blocks unlocked, we were able to get that Yoshi. Otherwise, it would have just been a pit here, and you would have perpetually. You would have left this video wondering what awesome secret was in that block, and you never would have known. Ooh. Look at this. Yoshi pooped a cloud. And yeah, feather time. Oh no, we missed a cloud thingy. We missed a cloud cookie. I think if you get them all, it gives you a one up. But if you miss one, I th I'm pretty sure it just doesn't give you anything. Like it's just gonna fly away. Yeah. If you get them all, you get a you get a one up. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I've never seen that before. First time for everything, I guess. There we go. That was funny. Thank God uh, Yoshi can damage boost like that. <sighs> can never get 100 on that stupid goalpost. Maybe the reason I hate the goalposts is I'm not very good at them. Turns out I hate things I suck at. All right. Oop, missed that one. Oh my God. That would have been it. We had it. Oh my God. <laughs> We had it. That would have been the eight up. Oh my god. All right, can we just hit this thing now? Whatever it is, I don't care. Whatever. Two, that's it? It got a lot of mushrooms there. Feels like a bit of a ripoff. All right, now we could go to this castle. We're going to backtrack. We're going to go to the castle over here that we left, and it will create a bridge, and then we'll carry on and we'll find our way back to that castle. Oh, actually, let's uh, use the star road that we unlocked. It'll be fun. We're traveling through the the uh, hyperverse or whatever. We're using portals. Now you're thinking with portals. Go over here to star road. And boom, look at that. See, we skipped walking through this whole cave. Kind of cool, right? All right, vanilla fortress. 
So a lot of the worlds here are like uh, food themed. In, in fact, actually, when you think about it, a lot of Mario is food themed. Like there's the Mushroom Kingdom, there's Donut Island. You know, the, we're in a we're in a dinosaur land and it's all like Donut Island, Vanilla Plains, you know, like Chocolate Mountain. <laughs> like you get the sense the developers <laughs> were just really hungry when they made when they programmed Mario here. Um, hmm. Interesting. If I was small, I'd be able to go down there. Oh, well, I guess we're not even going to find out what's in there. I don't feel like losing two feathers. Well, one feather now to go find it. Find out what's down there. Oh, two feathers. It's like a castle that got flooded. But yeah, like the developers, when they developed Mario originally, they were like, ah, mushrooms. I'm very hungry. And then <laughs> donuts, chocolate, vanilla. Nintendo, you gotta you gotta pay your employees more. They're starving, man. They'd kill for a donut. Um uh, okay. I feel like this level's a bit of a maze. Oh my god, which way to go? I guess we're going this way. Oh god, oh god, go, 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 go! Oh go! Oh god, I can't believe I slipped through there. Um, okay, that didn't help me at all. Oh god, oh god. Okay, let's let's just see what's over this way, I guess. This is gonna take me at that green pipe that I saw. Oh no, we can't even go in there, okay. Oh, maybe the green pipe takes you in here. I gotcha. Okay, look at these guys. The like spiky mummy Goombas. Those are like Goombas that I've killed that have been mummified. And they're not taking it anymore. Now they got spikes coming out of their skulls. God. Oh, God. One of the things about water levels that's so stressful is, like, how slow you move sometimes. It, it is like a dream where you're, like, trying to, like, move faster and, like, he just won't move. And you ever have that dream where you're, like, being chased and you're trying to, like, run outrun the, the, the bad guy and you just can't move fast enough? That's a water level in Mario. Okay, these guys. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, we gotta get on platform here and then just survive. Reznor. I think, wasn't this a reference to Nine Inch Nails? Like Trent Reznor? Like, am I crazy? Because I know like Ludwig and Lemmy and all the like Koopalings are named after musicians. Is this like a Trent, is this a Nine Inch Nails reference? Reznor? I mean, I guess you could take it as one, whether or not they intended it. Anyway, we crushed that castle. We crushed it so hard, a bridge exploded out of it. Butter Bridge. Very hungry development team on this one. You know when they say he's young and hungry? Well, they literally were. Oh my god. Hey, look at this. Cool. Ugh. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, whatever. You know, one thing that I heard over the years that I thought was kind of interesting is that um, Mario Maker, the game, um, is basically a commercialized... Oh, I can't exit. <laughs> so you do this sometimes in Mario World where you're about to die and you go to press Start Select. It's an instinct. I just did it on instinct, but I haven't beat this level yet, so I can't do that. So I just lose. It's okay. We'll... Uh... This one, another shot. We got 73 lives to burn. Let's burn a few. Um, but yeah, I heard that uh, Mario Maker was basically just an internal tool that Nintendo used to make Mario levels that they sort of cleaned up and commercialized um, to sell to the public. Um, and I thought that was kind of cool. And it kind of got me thinking, like, that's actually a really cool development tool um, to be able to, like, design a game, design a level, and then, like, start playing it, like, right away. Like, that's really cool. Like, the cool thing about Mario Maker is that you can, you mix building the level and playing it at the same time. Um, and that lets you, like, immediately play test and stuff. And I kind of wonder, like, what did the development tools for Mario Worlds here look like? Was it, did they basically have sort of, like, a version of Mario Maker for the Super Nintendo? Because uh, that's, like, kind of a cool idea, you know? Uh, I don't know if they did or not, but uh, just a thought. We going for this? 
We really doing this? Yes, we are. Oh god, it worked. I did all that for a one up, which I don't even need. <laughs> like the lengths I'll go to for an extra life. All right, now the the trick to this part is don't panic. You panic, you end up falling off the cliff. And do not, for the love of God, don't do a spin jump. It's suicide. You'll start busting through all the blocks and you'll be screwed. All right. Well, it's getting faster. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Okay, forget about that one. Got your losses. Oh, get out of here. Oh, no. Why did I do that? Oh, God. <laughs> these, like, controlled, uh... These controlled, uh... Scroll ones are kind of interesting. So this block, apparently, like, if if you satisfy some condition, you hit it, you'll get a one-up. I've seen a couple of these today, um, and we've never gotten anything from them. It's always just been a coin. So I can't remember what you're supposed to do to get them to be one-ups, but it's a thing. You can, you can do something, and they will become one-ups. I think maybe if you have, like, 100 coins or something, maybe. Uh, I'm just guessing, though. I can't fully remember. All right, ooh, a flying level. Yeah, here we go. Give me that. Give me that feather. Now, I think if you despawn him and then come back, he'll have a feather again. Get another one. Yeah, look at that. There's a little trick for you. Get back over here, buddy. See, but now that I killed him, I think he's done. He won't come back now. Yeah, he's done. All right. Wee, hey. hey oh. Yoshi, oh god, I went to fly and I didn't. Oh, well, well there's the Yoshi coin. It all worked out in the end. Oh god, oh, they're trying to assassinate me. Oh god, they figured out how to throw their own shells. Oh my god, there's guys flying all over the place. Holy crap, this is intense. <laughs> oh my god, what happened to this game being a peaceful, oh god, experience in Mario's universe? Oh, this is all, they're gonna just keep coming for me. They're trying to kill me, man. Trying to kill me. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I really want to find that green uh, switch block palace, to be honest. Um, is this anything? Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Go, go! Oh, there's nothing in here! Why did I come down here? Just a trick. Oh, thank god that one was something. Okay, let's do this. Ah, so you have to, like, go up and down. I'm gonna stay up on this thing. I feel safer up here. I really, my goal today is to not die in a bonus level. If I can do that, I will have not embarrassed myself. Crap. Run for it. Oh god. Oh! Oh my god! I paused. You see the instinct? I paused to pause, select my way out of trouble. Doesn't work though. Doesn't work when you haven't beaten the level because you suck. All right, for the love of God, give me a power up, please. I'm begging you, Mario World. I'm begging you. Oh my God, why four? Why that many? Oh, oh, the slowdown actually helped me. There's a question mark block there. I can't. I can't get in there. It's like a safe you don't know the combination to. Oh, God, why are they doing this to me? Oh God. Oh, uh, Mario, Mario World hates me. All right, we could go back for power-ups, but let's just get through this. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Okay, there we go. God, I wish I could get into there. It's probably a, a feather. It's exactly what I need. Oh my god, oh my god. Um, Here's one other interesting thing I've been noticing today. In, if you go back and you play like Mario 3, if you have the raccoon tail and you get hit, you turn big. You know, you lose one level of power up. I think it was the Japanese version where no matter what power up you had, if you got hit, oh, we passed it, look, see. All I have to do is start talking about Mario trivia and I, my game tightens up. Um, but I think it was the Japanese version where if you, lo if you had the fire flower raccoon tail, you got hit, you got small. But in the American version, they made it a little easier where if you get you had a, a good power up and you got hit, you just became big. And then you get hit again, then you become small. In this one, what I'm noticing is when you get hit, you go small. It doesn't matter what you have. And I think they did that because they gave you like an extra power up slot so you can like store a power up. Um, so in some ways, this is actually like harder <laughs> than I remember because like one hit and you're small. 
Um, but it is it is the case that having an extra power up slot does give you a lot more of an advantage when you get hit. I mean, sometimes you get hit and your feather turns into a fire flower or it stays a uh, oh man, that was a little stressful. It stays a uh, a feather if you've got one in reserve. Although sometimes when you get hit, if you have nothing in reserve or you miss the power up that's coming down, then you got nothing. I remember this level, you're like, oh, when will it end? And then you like get to the door and you're like, oh, thank God. All right, so here's where we're going to rack up a ton of extra lives. Because we're just going <laughs> to... I'm going to die, aren't I? I'm going to die. We'll go out getting some lives. Because it counts as being in the air as you hold on to these things. So every one of these guys we hit is just like that much closer to getting a one-up. Soon the one-ups are going to start flowing like wine. Yeah, we're just going to take our time with this. Oh, God. Not that we need any one-ups. So in fact, we could go over to the right and see what's over there, but I think it's more the same. So, yeah. All right, we got like eight lives there. That's sufficient. Let's fight the boss. No power-ups. Can Jay do it? Oh my god. I don't even remember what this guy does. Does he just spin at you? Oh, and then he jumps and stomps the ground. Okay. Gonna have to like... Get him. Okay, there we go. Alright, this isn't too bad. I think I got this. My palms are sweaty, which is never a good sign. Okay, and... There we go. Boom! That's all. That's Mario's skill right there. When you got it, you got it. What can I say? <sighs> Alright, how are we gonna... Oh, we're gonna detonate this one Wily e. Coyote style. Oh, I remember this. And he's like, where did it go? And then it, like, damages this bush. Which get, gets the Band-Aid. Ludwig von Koopa. He's a German Koopa, apparently. I guess he was... He has German citizenship or something like that. If I have any German viewers, they can fill me in on von Koopa's background. I know he was named after Beethoven. I get it. And the bush even has the Band-Aid on the overworld now, too. It's fun how I remember, like, how the overworld evolved as you played this. I mean, the overworld in this is an evolution of the overworld in Mario 3, you know, like, not like we'd never seen overworld before, but this one was way, way more interactive than I think we'd seen. Anyway, we're now in the forest of illusion, and this is where I thought, I think I might get lost, because it's actually, you have to go through multiple exits properly in order to get through this, and there's a couple dead ends and loops that, like, actually send you back... <laughs> back and stuff and dying like that is never a good sign um but whatever i was just thinking we could go back and power up but let's only do that if we like really need to although i don't want to make a six hour video so i guess i should balance like uh you know how how long it will take me to actually pass a level oh god oh god god damn it <laughs> I hate when uh, you're playing Mario and, like, it pauses for a second because, like, you're getting a power-up or something, and then that pause, like, screws you up. I feel like that's what happened right there where I got hit. Um, where, like, if it hadn't paused from Yoshi spawning, I would have been okay. Uh, but because it did spawn, but because it did pause, okay, well, that's a lost one up. It screwed me up. Stupid caterpillars can't be killed. Grab some berries. Some tree berries. Oh, hello. Oh, let's totally get, uh... Better here. Thank you. And... Grab Yoshi some delicious food. See, like, what, what's Yoshi's main mechanic? He's eating. <laughs> the Nintendo developers just wanted a sandwich. It's all they wanted. When they're making this game. Somebody feed us, please. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright. Second shot at getting the cloud cookies. We're gonna get them all this time. Oh, I didn't even see that one. It was behind a tree. Tricky. Oh, that one was hard. 
Some two. Oh, the skills that we're oh no <laughs> that we're having to display. Ah, oh, goddamn it! We're never gonna get the stupid tree cookies or cloud cookies or whatever the hell they were. There's too many bad guys just messing me up, man. So I guess this is this is a, a very s cleverly designed level in the sense of like if you were not familiar with um with the secret exits. Like there's one right here in the key. And so if you've gotten to this point in the game and you've you've not sort of figured out that there are secret exits, it kind of trains you at this point to realize that there are going to be alternate exits to the levels. Um and then maybe you'll go back to some of the earlier levels and try and find those alternate exits. So All right, where does this lead? Oh good, a ghost house. Ugh, the ghost houses in this are going to be a nightmare. Uh, or maybe not, I don't know. Okay. Let's not... Let's not predict defeat before we're there. Oh, so there's a door up there. I do actually think I remember this one. It's funny, I, it's like... I haven't... I honestly haven't played Mar this, this Mario game in probably 20 years. Like, I feel old just saying that. Oh, crap. I haven't played this Mario game in like 20 years. And if you had asked me what the ghost castle in the Forest of Illusion was, I would have said like, I have, I have no idea. You know, like I have no idea. But once I'm here playing it, I'm kind of like, oh yeah, like, okay. I, I, I do remember this actually. Didn't remember it was in the Forest of Illusion, but I definitely remember this ghost castle. Although it's interesting, like as I'm walking through it, um, I, I don't necessarily know what's coming up next. Oh my god. I want that fire flower because it will give me a buffer. There we go. So I don't lose the leaf instantly if I die. Um, oh, another leaf. Don't mind if I do. Just ignore me, ghosties. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> um, okay. Let me go over here, I think. Oh god, that ghost is about to hit me right in the head. Okay, then we go over this way. And I think there's a door over here, and this might be the exit we want. We're gonna try it. Okay, so we got out of the ghost house. The question in the le every level of the Forest of Illusion is, is that the exit you wanted? Just because you end a level doesn't mean that you ended where you wanted to be. This looks promising, though, actually. So here we go. Yeah, this this whole- this entire world is like a giant meta maze. Oh, this level! This one is so funny. So this guy, he's trying to fish for you with a 1-up. If you take the 1-up, as soon as you do, he starts dropping uh, spinies at you. So this is actually kind of funny. You can make this level easier and not have to deal with the spinies, but you have to constantly avoid that 1-up. So it's sort of like an anti-power-up. Kind of funny. So like, see, like I'm continuing to avoid it, and he's trying to fish for Mario. When we're ready, we will we will hit it and take it from him. But for right now, let's just coast on Easy Street here. Kill his brother in the tube. It's actually like an interesting challenge because oh god, I forgot that he could actually damage you. All right, well, well, the jig is up. It's actually kind of an interesting, uh, like, backwards challenge to, like, try and not get a power-up. Oh, God, I went right in him. I saw that happening as I did it. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God, okay, let's just get out of this level before, before it kills us. There, oh. Oh, I forgot we could take his cloud. Do we want to go up here anywhere? Is there a secret we can get? Just constantly, like, uh, mindful of secrets. Anything up here? We just passed a checkpoint. So we're totally skipping. Um. Okay. Nothing that I could see up there. I think we're gonna. We're probably gonna end up having to do this level twice because I think the default. Oh my god! Talk about an anti power up. The default exit. Yeah. If I had a Yoshi there, that blue shell, you fly up there. That's how you exit the level. The default exit does not get you where you need to go. Crap! You got me. All right, let's just uh, give this one 
another normal shot here. The nice thing about this level is you can mess up as much as you want because you always get that one. <laughs> well, not if you don't get the one up. I was get about to say you always get a one up. And, uh, and so, you know, you don't actually come out behind. But I mean, I guess in my circumstance. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've ever killed him and not picked up the one up. So we just lost an extra life there. Because we didn't actually take the time to gather the one up from him. And now he's back and he's just like full on attacking us. Uh-huh. That, that's like the worst you could possibly do fighting that guy. It's like the worst of all possible outcomes. Okay, let's uh, get this checkpoint this time. There we go. I, I can't remember if... Uh, Oh, crap. Ugh. It sucks when you're going to, like, jump off a ledge and you miss the ledge, and so you just hover off of it. It really, like, obviously screws you up. Um, okay, I think we can use this to kill him. No, no, no. Come here, Cloud. And then we can fly up here. And, no, that's not even the secret, though. Where's the secret exit in this level? Okay, I guess it's not in the sky that's a little too obvious. Sucker! Alright, let's just see where the normal exit leads. I have no idea. Maybe one of the pipes led somewhere that I was supposed to go. We'll try this one again and go through all the pipes. Maybe. Yeah, see, now it backtracks you. <laughs> and it's interesting, there's actually a crossroads right here where there's like a spot but no level. Um... And it makes, like, a big circle through the, the world or whatever, but... Um, this is one of the few levels, too, where I feel like having a, uh... Just go ahead and get the one up. Having a, uh, fire flower is actually better than the, the leaf. Or the feather. That cloud also was just slowing me down. I am gonna always... You always go for the leaf. But in an odd twist, I'm not actually gonna equip it. Go, oh, let's try going in all these pipes. One of these is going to be the secret. Because there's obviously nothing in the sky. Son of a bitch. <laughs> kidding me? Oh no! Are you kidding me? Okay, well, nothing to worry about. We can pull this together. We got this. That guy has not respawned in the sky for quite a while, actually. Okay, we've checked all the pipes pre-checkpoint, so that's good. So now we just have to check a few more here. Yeah, I want to try and, like... I have a feeling, like, we have to get in, in there. And since I don't have the leaf, i got to lure this guy over here. Ugh, ugh. Yeah! See, I can, I can spot... Oh, yeah, there we go. Boom. I, I like, you know... I mean, anyone who's played enough Mario can do this, but, like, you develop a sixth sense for, like, where there's going to be, like, a secret exit, kind of. You know, like, you just sort of... You feel it in your gut. You're like, yeah, that pipe looks a little conspicuous, a little difficult to get to, but also uh, a little possible to get to. Oh, and they just happen to put a super high-jumping turtle here. I see what they're doing, you know, like... Um, oh... Get that thing! Oh god, where's the platform? <laughs> and there goes my mushroom power up. Oh, and I jumped into a turtle. Well, that was a disaster. Let's do it again. Alright, the trick is to not panic. I don't know why I did that. I'm just showing off now. Oh my god. Okay, forget about that. That's okay. Do I even want the Yoshi coin? Look, I'm gambling with my life here. Okay, get that. Give me that. Okay. Having the mushroom, just knowing you can take one additional hit. Sometimes all you need, son of a bitch! Uh, I hate when you're like in a position like that where you're like, I need to move, but I've already ducked, so you've kind of like committed to squatting, and then you just get screwed. If you're going to commit to squatting, do it in a good place where you're not going to get hurt. That is a pro tip 
from me to you. Oh God. What is in that yellow block, I wonder? This is a yellow level, right? I don't have to kill myself trying to find secrets. We could just ride this one out in theory. Whatever ending is fine. Whatever ending at the end of the level exists is fine. Thank God. Oh, there's like three one-ups over there. I guess if you go over the flagpole or whatever, you can get like a an extra lives. But well, whatever. We're already at 77. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! This isn't even the exit you're supposed to take through the world. This is like another uh, access to the star thing. Oh, I thought I was just going through uh, the proper exit. Okay. Oh god. Like squished up against the wall. This is not where you want to be on a level like this. Oh my god, ow. Alright, oh my god. You know, one other thing I think I w will say about this game, I wish you could do, is turn these switches on and off. Like the pink blocks, the blue blocks, the yellow blocks. Holy Jesus! You may be wondering why would you ever want to do that. But I do remember, like, after you beat the game, it is a thing where, like, all those blocks are on all the time, and it does make parts like that a lot easier. Like, if the yellow and... Or if the green and blue blocks had been on, like, you could have just sort of walked through that whole uh, area and there wouldn't have been any pits or anything. So it's like, and that's fine, like, it is nice to make some levels easier. But it is also the thing, like, sometimes when you've played the game enough, you want to turn it back to, like, a harder difficulty. So I think they should have set the Switch Palaces to things you could go to and change. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Um... I think that is like one other little addition they could have done to this game to make it like even better, you know? Um, here we go. Yeah, because once all those switches are on, it's like certain levels actually do become like really easy. Um, wait, what? Is there like a secret exit to the castle? Oh my god! Oh, no! No, I can't start to like the exit! I'm so curious now what that even, what did we even see there? Like, we could just go for the, the exit. Oh, maybe we should. Okay, here's my strategy. We'll go through the normal boss exit. And then after that, we'll come back and we'll try and fly over that lava pit because we can start select our way out if we get into trouble. Oh my god. Yes. Hmm. Go. Oh my god. This part's actually like a little tricky. I think the final Bowser Castle has a section like this too. Oh my god. Like this part here is actually like nuts. Oh, I think we were able to skip the hard part. Yeah, I survived on that island last time. I don't know how. At the spinning blade. I like how every castle is a theme. This one is all about... You know, buzzsaw blades. Shit. <sighs> that part's actually a little tricky. Go! Okay. I like this part. I don't mind precision jumping in Mario. I feel like it's very satisfying. And under, over, down and around. Get this. Oh! Okay, it's okay. We had a backup power-up for a reason. And look. There, it's like we never got hit. Okay, so let's, um... Go through here. Beat, uh... This guy. It's, uh, Trent Reznor again. Oh my god. Okay. Ah! There we go. I want to, like, do a... Do a jump for that last guy, but I feel like then I'll, I'll kill him but fall in the lava, and then that won't be good. So we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. All right, there we go. Past the castle. Now, what the hell could be at that alternate exit? I'm so curious. This game is all about, like, just tickling that curiosity bone. Smash! Oh, yeah! This might have been most people's first introduction to the stars, I think. This might have been 
a common star world for people to find first. I wonder, how did you guys find the star world? And was that the first one that you found? Oh, I forgot. Okay, so L and R to go back into the castle. See, the fact that you can't repeat castles makes me think that past that lava pit is not an alternate exit to the level because most people wouldn't even know you could go into castles, and so they couldn't put alternate exits in a castle. I think it's just going to be a power-up or something. My guess. Although, I guess it could unlock the, like, uh, you know, blue switch palace or something. So it's like, you never, you never know. So I guess we should try. Oh my god, don't squish me. That one is actually a little stressful, that. <laughs> That squishing moment. Okay, now we're in the- now we're safe. Now we're safe. I think I could just run under this one, that- that first blade that falls down. If you're fast enough, you just go for it and you're fine. Oh god. Whatever. Whatever, man. I don't need your... pity power-ups. We just need... a feather. And a bit of luck for this part here. I remember always really liking this castle theme, by the way. It just sounds like it's it's so good. It, it's almost like classical music, you know? Like it's... I don't know. Oh, God. I messed it up. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time and then we'll move on. I just, I, I need to know, you know? But also, I don't want this to, like... I mean, it's almost like we literally have to, like, do a calculus of, like, how long should I be spending on each level so that we don't make a six-hour video today. So it's like... Oh, God. If there is a secret and I can't get to it and it doesn't seem essential, we really should move on, you know? I mean, I guess I should leave a little mystery in case this, uh, this video encourages you guys to want to go back and play through this game. Actually, I'm curious, like, how many times, uh, you know, I, like, I know some viewers have commented in the past and been like, oh man, like, this game, I need to go back and play it now. Kind of curious, like, how many people, um, get motivated to go back and, uh, play, oh yeah, you just make it right past that, uh, play games after they watch one of my videos. Um... I mean, not that I think that, you know, everyone's going to. Um, but it's it's kind of fun to know, like, hey, like, you know, you had so much fun watching watching this, or like I helped remind you about a video or a game, and you decided to go back and play it yourself, too. Exciting. If I can introduce more people playing retro games in the world, I've done my job. Done a good thing with my life. Son of a bitch! That thing respawns. <laughs> Thought we were going to leave this level with at least two feathers, and so whatever happened, it would be a win, but I guess not. Go! 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 Oh, God! They're going to roast me! Oh, I'm just trying to stay afloat. Oh, my God, look at this. One up. One up heaven. Okay, that's what it is. And it still just takes you to the boss. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, this video is getting pretty long. Wonder if I should make this a two-parter. Um, oh, you dick!